Hi, this is Seva Kehuda Richter speaking. I'm showing you a picture, actually the actual certificate, the frame certificate I received from the Regents of the University of Minnesota on the recommendation of the faculty. It was conferred upon myself. I received a degree in the Bachelor of Science as a in Bachelor of Science in Business with all its privileges and obligations. The degree was given to me in Minneapolis in the state of Minnesota on the 20th day of August, 1971. And I just want to show you on the bottom, it shows it was signed by the president, Malcolm Moose. The reason I'm showing you that certificate that I received my degree is because I wanted to show you that I was a graduate of the University of Minnesota along around the time that Hubert H. Humphrey was teaching there. He had just lost the he had just lost the uh, presidential election to Richard Nixon by only 500,000 votes. And he was a very, very popular person at the time. This video is being recorded on November 4th, 2024. We live now in Israel, my wife, myself, my children and grandchildren. I have a son in South Africa, but I wanted to show you this degree to show you how much I respected and honored the memory of Hubert H. Humphrey when he passed away. Today is the day before the US elections and ironically, the vice president who is running Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris, and the, 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 the vice president who was running for president and her running mate is from Minnesota. His name is Tim Waltz. I've been following the elections like every other American here in Israel. And unfortunately, one of the names in the Democratic Party, one of the founders and one of the main people of the Democratic Party that existed back in 1968, 1970, when I was going to university, was Hubert H. Humphrey. One of the things that Hubert H. Humphrey did was he was very instrumental in the passage of the 1964 Civil Rights Act. But I want to show you on my channel the video I found a tribute to Hubert H. Humphrey on the day it was found out that he, it was reported that he would pass away. ABC did a, the ABC network did a tribute to Hubert H. Humphrey. And I'm going to follow this video with that video that I found from ABC. And you will see that when it comes to a person that was a person of joy, when it comes to a person that uh, we refer to as the happy warrior, it is not the happy warriors that you see that are running for the Democratic Party today. It's the happy warrior that they refer to in reality was Hubert H. Humphrey. And so I'm gonna run that video and I want you all to watch that video because not only on that video, but many other videos to follow on my channel you will find that I have discovered very interesting facts and figures on Hubert Humphrey. And before you vote tomorrow, on November 5th, I want you to take all of this into account because there's going to be now a choice. You can vote for either Donald Trump as president or you can vote for Harris and Waltz, her running mate, as president and vice president. And when you see this video, especially the people that were not living at the time that I was, at the time that I was in Minnesota 
and at the time I was going to university and knew who Hubert Humphrey was. In fact, I worked for the husband of Hubert Humphrey's speech, speechwriter, who her name was Jerry Joseph, to get myself through college. And ironically, the other place I worked was the Minneapolis Star and Tribune building. I was selling subscriptions and I would always see Amy Klobuchar's father because he was a, a reporter. He was a very well-known reporter at the Minneapolis Star and Tribune. I would see him in the building once in a while as well. So I want you now to look at a tribute that was made for upon the death of Hugh and Humphrey. And again, I'm going to follow those with other tributes and other videos that I think you should look at before you vote. Because once you see some of these videos and know who Hubert Humphrey was, even though the, the Democratic Party did not want you to know people like that, people like Hubert, they want you to concentrate on the people that they want you to concentrate on. Once you see videos like this, you will make your decision for yourself whether you think Hubert H. Humphrey, the values that he had are the values that the Democratic Party stands for today, or you will think that Donald H. Donald Trump is the person that should be elected. So I'm going to follow these this video now with videos I found on Hubert H. Humphrey and the events that took place and various other aspects that I found in relationship to the Democratic Party. Code two.